is Texans Talk with Texans. With NFL Pro Bowler wannabe Joe Cool the Greaser. And also NFL Pro Bowler wannabe Nick Rogers. And now it's Texans Talk with Texans. The unofficial official Texans pregame show. And now here are your hosts, Joe Cool the Greaser and Nick Rock. What's up? How you doing, Joe? All right, all right. Good to see you, man. You doing all right? Good to see you, yeah. And well, hey, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Um, this is week two. Yeah, it's week two, Sunday. Another pregame show. Um, so what's up? The, the Texans lost, huh? Yeah, I'm in mourning. Can you see? This is very rare. Let me wear glasses. Yes, I'm, I'm in mourning. Why? Because of what happened last Sunday. What was your take on last Sunday's game? Uh, I don't know. It just seemed like the Texans were sloppy. They didn't have crap put together. And I don't know. It just reminds me of Kubiak. Oh, did I mention, I'm sorry, did I mention the fact that uh, Jadavion Clowney, he came back to uh, last Sunday, and uh, I think he had a, one, he had a good game, but he's not up to uh, par, so to speak. Uh, he's like 50%? Something like that, but because... 50%? No, no, I mean, I would say more than 50%, say up to 85. 85. 85. Yeah, I mean, the coach is going to push a little bit more yeah. for him to be that type of player. Uh, you know, come on, boy, go on. Nah, come on. Oh, I forgot he's black. He can't come on, I can't be saying that kind of stuff. <laughs> it was a kid's show. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got my five keys. Well, you got your five keys? That's right. All right, go ahead. Uh, one is uh, open up the running game. The offense get, must protect uh, the quarterback at all times in order for the running back to... Hey, I'm so out of it, my gosh. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. Are you going to continue on? I mean, I got I got a couple guests that are uh, supposed to call in. Nah, I well, got They're waiting a lot. They're Ooh, waiting. I got it. All right. Um, yeah, number two is indeed uh, the running game. Got to be solid overall. That means the offense got to protect. Uh, that means the offense got to create some holes for Alpha Blue or um, or the other, uh, for the other running back. Um, I don't know his name, but you got to create some holes for him to go through in order for him to succeed or, or win, so to speak. All right. Number three, I would say that the defense, uh, like I said earlier, defense got to uh, basically make, how do I say this? <laughs> the defense got to step up. That means everybody got to step up individually and um, create some turnovers for the opposition. Because for one thing, if we can do that to stop Cam Newton and the company overall, they'll have a good chance of winning the, uh, winning the football game. But four, four is going to be, of course, coaching. Bill O'Brien, come on, man. You're a new coach, second year coach. Came from college. Hey, not just from college, you came from the Patriots. Know, know what's up, know what's going down overall. All right? And what am I at now? Number five. Number five. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so, I'm so morning. Nah. Uh, number five is just Bravo. win. Bravo. Just win. That was a great performance, Nick. Great performance. Yeah. I'm so choked up. <laughs> no. They like their white stuff right there. Uh, Anyways, uh, they have, they have a, a Sunday morning podcast. It's, it's kind of, it's almost like a rival show. Both of them, they do some announcing on the side for like football. The Houston area football games. Uh-huh. Well, they call themselves Rich and Rich in the morning. Like the cereal? <laughs> That's rich. What? <laughs> Anyways, uh, I want to uh, I want to introduce to our show Rich and Rich in the morning. You're on the phone right now. Your name's uh, R- Richard Zanderman and Richard J. Henry, huh? I uh, guess, uh, yes, Joe. Uh, thanks for the lovely introductions. Uh, how how you uh, two gentlemen doing? Good, good. Yes. Good. Yeah. Hey, let me speak too. Uh, yeah. Uh, what's up? Hey, what's up? 
Anyways, uh, so y'all make like a podcast or something like that? You know, what do y'all do? What do y'all about? Well, uh, let, let me, uh, let me uh, speak for us. Uh, Oh yeah, go ahead and speak for us, cause he always do the speak. Well, come on, let, let's calm down a little bit, Rich. Uh, uh, anyways, we're an outs team, and we we go around the uh, the Houston area doing a uh, commentary on uh, Houston uh, high school football games, and uh, and on Sundays we make a little podcast. And I heard that uh, we're rivals, but we're I don't think we're rivals. I actually think we're all uh, some sort of uh, teammates of the Houston Texans because me and uh, Rich Rich are uh, both Houston Texan fans. Yeah. Wow, that sounds cool. Oh, okay. Anyways, uh, gentlemen, we're here uh, to talk about... Uh, uh, how about the other guy? Where? Where's he from? She I'm from here, Houston. I mean, I'm not the one from Boston. Well, let, let's not get into uh, where who's from or whatever, uh, Rich. Uh, it's just really about uh, we all... I, I, okay, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm a transplant. Uh, I, I was in uh, Boston. I grew up in Boston. I went to uh, UBAT, uh, Boston University. Uh, got my BS uh, math. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's, no, that's, that's uh, hard. <laughs> so you have a regular express? I mean, well, I got my BS uh, in mass communications, and I mean that. I don't know why you are laughing, but uh, it, it's just uh, it means uh, to the uh, un un uneducated out there. It means uh, bachelor of science in uh, mass communication. So yeah, I have a little bit of uh, knowledge in uh, talking about football, and I love football too, especially Houston Texan football. Wow, that sounds a lot. Anyways, uh, okay, uh, thanks, thanks for your credentials. Oh, you, thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. My, I mean, anytime. I mean, anytime you want me. All right, enough of that. She, let's talk about. Um, could I refrain y'all from uh, using curse words? Because this is a family show. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm uh, usually rich. Oh, now you're going to tell me, how you're going to talk for me, I can talk for myself. Look, let's not, let's not get into it. Uh, we're, we're, ve we're, I, I, I'm the, I'm the main announcer and he's a colored commentator. Oh yeah, colored commentator, huh? Look, <laughs> uh, let, let's just talk about what happened in the game. Yeah, that's a damn good idea. Yeah, all right, uh. Well, it, it looks like uh, the Chiefs gave the Texans a little bit of uh, problems. In the first quarter, we got uh, uh, Brian Hoyer throwing that interception early in the first quarter, you know, uh, setting the tone for the whole uh, game. And uh, the only thing that was keeping them alive, uh, I believe, till the fourth quarter, it was J.J. Watt and company. I mean, those guys are, are beasts in, in uh, the defense, well, J.J. Watt, I mean, he's, what does my friend uh, uh, Nick Rogers always say? One million ways. Uh, oh, oh, oh. What? I, mean, I, I love when you say that. That's what? I mean, I, I really do love it. It's one million ways. he's a jackass for saying it. Ah, uh, come on. Come on. Well, see, that's, that's, come on. that's why uh, he's the color commentator because, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, really? Yeah, well, yeah, because uh, he, he has some, uh, Rich has interesting stuff to say a lot of times. Oh yeah, you. now it's interesting. All right, he he mean he's he's really talking <laughs> shit. <laughs> all, all right, all right, okay. It's uh, can not we, can we get okay. it? Look, um, anyways, uh, Rich, um, I think I think I'm, I'm gonna get y'all both confused. Can I call you Richard, and then uh, the H Town guy Rich? Oh uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, go ahead. All right, um. So then, keep on going. Well, uh, well, and then, and then it looks like uh, the coach uh, puts in uh, Ryan Ballot uh, in, in the in the fourth quarter around the six ten mark, and uh, and then the and then uh, Ryan Ballot just goes off. He, I mean, he actually looked like a, a pro bowler uh, marching down the field with authority. Wow, oh, okay. you're right about that. Yeah, I mean, he he really did. Well, I mean, I, I think that's a little bit too, uh, I mean, god dang, marching down the field like, like a pro bowler? Ah. Gee, that, that makes, that... All right. Well, okay, okay, we gotta cut you off. Look, 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 look okay, ex excuse me, gentlemen, let me, let me finish what I was saying. Uh, you can have your turn to talk, Richard. Oh, well, thank you very much, Richard.
Alright, all right, gentlemen. gentlemen. Hey, hey, uh, uh, well, 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 as he was, as, as uh, Ryan Valley got put in uh, around the fourth quarter, around the 6-10 mark, uh, the Texans started making a, a comeback with D. Hopkins, uh, making that beautiful TD reception, uh, plus also converting the extra points. Uh, usually, you know, that's what the Texans needed. And then the Chiefs, with greed in their heart, uh, challenged the Texans as Ballard ran for a first down completion. And of course, we know that cheaters never prosper. I mean, Ballard and D-Hop were looking like Montana and Rice for a minute there. <laughs> I mean, but the Texans unfortunately lose this close one. Uh, gentlemen, a couple first downs and uh, completions, and we win the game all uh, all right. Yeah, yeah, but 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 he he could have he should have. I mean, damn! Don't give don't give any excuses, Rich. The game wasn't as close as the final score call shows. I mean, well, Richard, uh, uh, wait a second. Uh, are we talking about the same year, game here? Well, I okay. Mean, now, now, don't cut me off. You already had your your. Uh, okay. Well. Uh, okay. Well. Uh, okay. Go okay, ahead. Well, let me talk. Okay. Damn. And you already had your love fest with this damn team. You know, we, everything I'm you say is so. It, it, we, we're, usually, we're usually on key. Where? <laughs> okay. Well, from. Well, that was true that uh, towards the end of the game, they, you know, the Texans, uh, they were trying, they were trying and whatever, but I, I think, uh, Rich, you're like Rich, uh, like Nick, he's very optimistic when it comes to the Texans. Yeah, no, uh, uh, Dick no, okay. is, uh, well, that's that's we don't, Nick. We, no, well, he's actually talking to me, Nick, uh, that, oh. that whenever he, he starts getting angry, he, start, he starts uh, name calling. Well, I mean, that is your damn name, Dick, right? Well, I guess your name's Dick, too, isn't it, Rich? <laughs> I mean, we can go... Yeah, we can go all day. How about... You're lucky you're not here in the same room with me. <laughs> well, is that supposed to all be... All right, guys. Um, <laughs> it was nice talking to y'all. Um, y'all have... Uh, y'all have a good day. <laughs> Hopefully the there. Texans win. Well, it was, it was our pleasure talking to you. Hey, wait a second! Don't speak for me, Dick. Look, look, Dick. I had a, I had enough of you. Well, well, let me tell you something, Dick. <laughs> I guess they hung up. Yeah. Thank goodness. <laughs> My gosh, those guys there. It's something else. But I, I see why that guy was getting mad. Uh, Rich or Richard? Or yeah. So that's gonna be the end of the show. Uh huh. Uh, who are we playing next week? You know? Uh, I believe Tampa Bay. Buccaneers. Yeah, but the but, freaking Buccaneers. But then again, who is Tampa Bay? You know what yeah. I mean? Who is? But but we'll find out the who? next time. Tampa Bay what? Buccaneers. <laughs> hey, you I, know what? Buck em. <laughs> I'm Joe School the Greaser. I'm Nick C. Rogers. We'll see y'all next week. Like the saying goes, um, what does that saying go? The saying know. goes, uh, uh, do you know Emmanuel? I don't know what you're talking about. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, that, that's a great question, uh, Joe Cool. Uh, I think we're gonna kick their butt. Uh, Killer Cam and Company. What, what do you mean, Killer Cam and Company? Well, that's just Dave Cobb do it. This guy always trying to tell he black. I mean, what the hell's wrong with him? <laughs> <laughs> so should I be facing straight or? Man, I don't care. Do how you usually do. All right. Oh really? Wah, wah, wah. Dude, dude Apple Blues uh, does this golf match his name? Yeah, cut that out. <laughs> All of a sudden.
Yeah, yeah. Someone criticizes? No, 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 just. This guy over here doesn't know which way to sit. So if you sit that way, that way. Oh, you sit on that lap. 